I'll save Halloween for you three grumpy tots. Just stick out your rumps for some mump stumping shots. <sighs> now hop on my cycle, there's nothing to fear. And we shall have candy and maybe some beer. <laughs> You should not be here when their mother's away. And you should be dead, you're so wrinkled and gray. I'll give you the business, you yellow sea cow. Let's go getting old Sterwell. Where am I now? <coughs> They'll fix up this mix-up in two minutes flat with the helpers I've hidden right under my hat. <gasps> I, uh, I knew there was something I left off my list. Without food, air, and water, they cease to exist. I am the Borax. I speak for the woods, but I've plastered my likeness on consumer goods. Sell out. Hey! Oh, the fat in the hat doesn't care what moms say. The minute they leave you, he'll take you away. Yeah. His breakfast is dinner, his dinner's dessert. You might see his name on an amber alert. Trick or treat! Who buzzed the buzzard? Don't pester the rich. I don't hand out candy, you son of a gritch. He pulled out bamboozlers and sidewinding gizzles. <laughs> he laughed as he heard that old codger's house sizzles. Let this be a lesson to those who love cash, that your nice stash of cash could be gone in a flash. And if you are awful and nasty and cruel... Enough with the lessons! This isn't a school. <laughs> Once a year, we are not hungry, thanks to Christian charity. Don't got no candy, I only serve beer. And who said that you could bring miners in here? Your peanuts are poured through, your beer smells like skunk, and you just pissed off the wrong fat furry drunk. Hey, 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 this is supposed to be a children's story. Go grab all his money and vodka and gin, and I'll knit a nice snort from his leathery skin. Say, Mr. Hat, I don't mean to complain, but you promised us candy, not mayhem and pain. The dude thought a while, then said, I know a man with an overpriced store who give all that he can. Take whatever you want. I don't want any trouble. Take gyms that are slim and gum of the bubble. I won't shoot you now, because I found something crueler. An afternoon off with eight kids and Manjula. <laughs> no! Oh, the fat in the hat has some anger issues and some highly unusual political views. If he comes a calling, you'd better hide, cause he's committing aggravated fluke fluffle side. Don't forget me! Side. We had to escape from this beheaded mammal. So we hitched us a ride on a three-hump gum mammal. A gum mammal's a camel, but faster and humbler. It doesn't take tips, and it's never a grumbler. So if you must leave in a kind of a scramble, then jump on the hump of a humble gum mammal. But if the gum mammal should ramble and stumble, then just hop atop a Christopherous crumble. But then if that crumble...